way, if you like our content, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get updated every time we upload a new video. Let's see what's cooking today. Hi, welcome to Burpees. Shamsa here. Happy to have you here. So today, we mark first anniversary of Burpees YouTube channel and we never knew that we will grow together so quickly and we just thank you from the core of our heart for supporting us for watching us and the best thing when people tell me that oh we tried this recipe and it turned out so good so i'm so happy marking this anniversary and celebrating this anniversary on a sweet note today baklava a very famous Turkish and then Greek dessert but I am giving it a twist a South Asian and East Asian twist so I am making pan flavored baklava that will serve as a dessert and as a mouth freshener after your food and in your parties and would win hearts so let's get started so here I have two and a half full tablespoons of rose petal jam now fun fact about rose petal jam is it kills your stress it gives you good breath and it calms you down and that's why most of the south asian people they eat after food but not regularly it has sugar so two and a half tablespoons full of uh, rose jam in this i am adding one tablespoon of coconut cream if you don't get coconut cream you just can add more of coconut desiccated coconut which I'm going to add eventually so I'm adding coconut cream this will actually smoothen the batter here I'm putting two full tablespoons of desiccated coconut and I'm leaving some to garnish at the end so this much just a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla essence whatever you call a quarter teaspoon of mint extract and if you don't get mint it's okay it's okay very much okay I have it so I'm just giving it a minty flavor so just a quarter teaspoon of mint extract otherwise it's easily available two three drops of rose essence this is easily available and this will also add to the flavor so two three drops of rose essence that's it we are going to mix it so while mixing just add half a teaspoon of olive oil this will make it further smooth I am not adding any butter traditionally in baklava they put a lot of butter I'm not adding any butter just will play with olive oil today and our batter is ready we will keep it aside to get infused for a couple of minutes so now we are starting to make our baklava rolls we are making rolls so for this you need phyllo pastry now phyllo pastry sheets are easily available in every part of the world some viewers from pakistan and some friends from pakistan they always tell me that we could not find this ingredient so i just google in imtiaz nahi the naga supermarket all big supermarkets you will easily get this so this has this comes like this these are the sheets and they come in a roll in plastic so one tip over here when you are making baklava and you are taking sheets the sheets get dried up very quickly so always make sure you wrap it with plastic and then on top of that keep a damp kitchen towel or damp cloth just cover it and when you are taking sheets just remove and take the sheet and cover it again otherwise these sheets get dried up very easily and they break down and you won't be able to roll it or you won't be able to make it and if it is torn don't worry okay we have taken first sheet and we are going to rub gently olive oil on this 
you don't have to put much just you have to put a thin layer of olive oil now on this I'm putting the second sheet and on each layer you are going to rub olive oil so this way I'm taking base five sheets and I will rub olive oil on each and I'll show you how to spread your batter on that then. okay now I have put five sheets at the base and in on every sheet I applied some olive oil and now we are going to spread this batter that mixture that we made rose jam evenly after you just put so with your butter knife just spread it or you can use a fork and it would be spread very nicely see how nicely and make sure it goes to every corner and once it is done we are going to put two more sheets on this to cover it these are two sheets and here also I'm going to apply olive oil and now we are going to start rolling it from this corner with clean hands we are going to start rolling it and here you can just do this to wrap it up seal it and we will be sealing it with olive oil again and don't worry if this breaks this is going to be baked eventually and will be sealed automatically so make sure you rub olive oil on top of it so now it depends on you what size of rolls you want okay. traditionally they just put the sheets directly with butter at the base but why I have put parchment paper and I just sprayed some oil and I lined with parchment paper because this rose jam is going to extract the liquid and that would be our natural syrup just put like this and I'm keeping some distance because when the extract would be out it will go in between and then flavors would be everywhere so it is ready to be baked I'm baking at 350 degrees Fahrenheit on the center rack for 25 to 35 minutes depending on how golden crust you want and we'll show you the result so I kept it exactly for 30 minutes you can keep it more longer if you want more crispier and golden while it is hot I told you the extract of rose gem petal would be there so while it is hot just rub it on top for more flavors you can sprinkle desiccated coconut as I said I'm keeping some for garnishing see I'm not adding any added sugar syrup the way traditionally it's put because it has sugar enough and that's enough so we will keep it for cooling down for at least 10 minutes and after 10 minutes I'll show you how it turned out and I will just dish it out now see our pan flavored dessert is ready and uh, no added sugar syrup and no butter at all so I'm just tasting it my husband is behind the camera and he has a very big sweet tooth he will taste later but first I want to taste it heavenly you heard the sound how crispy on top and how soft and tender from inside ah this is what we want after every party and dinner pan plus dessert together so my written recipe is given down in my description box go get it and make it and make everybody happy so see you soon with another healthy yumminess bye